All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use these push-in cable connectors on some junction boxes. And this is a junction box that I have in my attic. You knock those little circles out, and then you run your electrical wire through them. But you want to use some sort of connector inside those holes, or else the cable could rub and short out. All right, so I recently added this junction box and you can see I just ran the cable in there and it's really sharp here on its edge and same with over here. So I got to add these in there. So I only have one cable on each side, so this should be working fine. If you're going to do two cables, you might need to cut this plastic just a little bit back here with some pliers like these. Okay, first question is. If you use these, do you have to take all this undone and run it through here? Because once you put these cables through here, they're hard to pull back out. But let's see. I'm going to go and try and see if I can do it without pulling the cable completely out. See, as a slit, slit right there, you can kind of open these up just a little bit. All right. So once you get those in there, it makes it really hard to pull these out. They they hold the cable really well. So worked on that one, but this is a little bit thicker of a cable over here. Let's see if I can get this one on. That was a 12-2 cable that I just did, the yellow one. This green one's a bit older, looks a little thicker too. Yeah, this cable's a little thicker. So, what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit on one side. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little more space to run this thicker cable. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side just a little bit too. Seems like it's still a little bit tight. All right, you can see the gap I left in there. <clears throat> There we go, that's much better. All right, there we have it. So these uh, push-in cable connectors, non-metallic plastic pieces, they, they work just fine. You can't pull these out. Even this one where I cut, it's still pretty tight. And that's all you really need. These were fairly cheap. I'll put a link in the description below. I think I paid less than 20 bucks for the whole thing. Uh, and it's it's a hundred pack, so it's enough to do probably your whole house. Because you, you also can use these in uh, light switches if you have a, a metal box or electrical outlet, metal box electrical outlets as well. Anything with a box that's metal. So yeah, the reason why I want to make this video because I had a few people on the Home Depot website saying they broke and everyone broke. You could see I just did two, my first two, and none broke. Uh, don't believe everything you hear on reviews. Sometimes people just, I don't know, just can't figure out the simplest of things. Maybe the hole that they were using was too small and they were forcing it. I don't know, but I ain't got no problem with this. And that'll keep you from kick, rubbing the wire and getting a cut and maybe catching your house on fire. And there's nothing wrong with this style, the metal style. These ones work good as well. So I'm not knocking those. Just the plastic ones are a lot easier to install after you did your work. Didn't have to take the electrical apart or anything. So that, that's one good benefit of the plastic ones.